Hey everybody, it's Cindy here and uh, I've been talking to you about relationships and how to make you know your relationships more positive and balanced um, in, a, in, a, in the, a favorable direction for your success with your partners in your lives. And uh, the last point I made yesterday about that um, is about how you know our own self-care, taking care of ourselves, and having everything aligned within ourselves authentically is one of the best things we can do for our to, for the health of our relationship with our primary person, and of course our relationships with everybody in our life. Um, and so, I want to go uh, on about that a little bit today, and talk about you know something that I'm going through again in my life, and that is kind of reassessing the balance that I want in my life because my life has changed a lot in the last few months. I've been focusing a lot differently on my health, my physical health, and what I want my body to look like and how I want my body to feel and the state of its being. And uh, I've also um, entered into a relationship with a partner that's uh, very important to me and is taking I'm taking a lot of time for that to nurture that relationship and grow that relationship. And uh, this year, 2017, I've been building my own business, which requires an, an investment of time that's that's very different. And anyway, a lot of changes in my life this year. I've had two deaths in my family of people I was very close to, and both my children went off to college again. And so, um, um, Anyway, there's been a lot of shifts in my life. And so it's time for me, again, to look at my balance. Um, I also still own a property in the town I used to live in. And so there's, you know, I'm looking at all areas of my life and reassessing how to find my balance based on all of these changes and circumstances that um, make up the, the majority of my life. And that's what I'm challenging you to do today, too, because the best way that we can care for ourselves is to create a really healthy balance of what's most important to us. So well, as I am doing, I'm challenging you, as you're looking for your balance, to look into all the major areas of your life, like what you want your relationships to look like, what you want your home environment to be like, what you want your physical and mental health to look like. <clears throat> You know, what you want your free time to look like, what you want your career to look like. Did I say your finances already? And then any legacy um, you want to leave or like way you want to serve, you know, in the world, like a mission you feel or a purpose you feel in your world that may be beyond those other things um, and your free time and recreation um, and so forth. And so kind of looking at all those pieces of your life and putting them together in a balance that feels really good. And so part of why I'm bringing this up is because I need, I have a book that I'm working on for my business. And I think it's going to be a, a very important tool for me to utilize in my coaching and speaking business and the impact I wish to have on a broader scale in helping people in their personal and professional lives. And I'm finding with all the many things that I'm doing, I'm having trouble really focusing in and getting that book put out in a timely manner. And so I'm going to shift my balance a bit. I'm looking for a new way to balance. And so I will not be continuing to do daily videos um, during the week. I'll probably check in maybe once a week. Um, I could see that being more realistic. Um, so you see how I'm shifting. I've been doing an average of about four videos a week for several months. And uh, <clears throat> it may not look like they take much time, but um, they take more time than they look like they take, <laughs> probably. Anyway, um, I'm finding I need to eliminate some things in my, my work time to put more focus honing in on getting this book uh, put into form that I think is going to really be very important on a on a grand scale and and be the foundation of many future projects and things I have in mind for individual clients and group experiences 
and all kinds of things that I hope will be coming in the next six months or year. But if I don't get this book out as, as the tool that's going to serve these things, none of the rest of it can happen. So it's very, very important. It's a huge priority in my life. So I need to give it more time. I need to give it more direct, focused, intentional attention. And so I just want to uh, tell you that, that, that I love connecting with you um, through this avenue. And I've gotten a lot of great feedback that it's been useful to people. So I will continue to do it, but just not on as a consistent of basis. So um, that's what's going on with me with my balance. And, um, and so um, I, I think I'll feel better and be able to uh, create more of the professional life that I want to create on a longer term scale, making this adjustment for the short term. And so ask yourself, if you're not 100% happy with what's going on in your life, how can you tweak things a little bit in your days, in your weeks, in your monthly schedule, so you feel like you are prioritizing exactly what feels most important right now. And part of what I want you to listen to is your intuition, your gut, telling you the changes that you might need to make to create a better balance for yourself. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to attempt this tweak and see how it feels and see what happens and see what goes on with that flow. And then always with constant and never ending improvement, shift things again as needed. Maybe in two weeks, I'll change my mind and realize, oh, no, this is what I need to do to tweak that. And that's how I want you to approach your life because it's really it keeps us open to um, different ways of managing different aspects of our lives and our relationships and our health and all of those things, all those priorities we have in our life. And uh, it, it keeps life interesting. Right? It keeps it life really, really interesting. So um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so that's going to be part of my self-care journey is recreating my balance professionally in this way. And I will be more available to you later if I am less available to you right now. And that's part of the, the adjustment that I need to make is as much as I like interacting with you all this way and, and responding to all your messages and everything online. And I will continue to do that, but I just cannot do it on a daily basis all the time with and get this book out the same in the quality that I want to get it out in the time that I want to get it out. So um, anyway, balance is so important. So recheck your balance. If you're stressed out, you're unhappy, if you are not getting to the things that you most want to get to in the way that you want to get to them or attending to your relationships in the way you most want to attend to them, then I would ask you to, to really check how you're spending your time and, and tweak things and just just do a little experiment and tweak here and tweak there until you find your balance that feels really good and you feel uh, more on top of your game. And everything else will, uh, will you know, the universe will go, hey, good job. You're, you know, you're taking good care of yourself and so we'll, and it will respond well and things will flow better. And, uh, and, and then we'll be living more intentionally and, uh, and get to where we want to go, how we want our lives to be. be. So I take 100% responsibility for the changes that I'm making, and I invite you to take 100% responsibility for your life as well, and trust me, in doing so, you will be happier. So to your success and happiness, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.